So we're here at Marsupial Gear. They're nice enough to let me come around, walk around, check out the place. It's real. If you guys watch the channel, you know this is really the only vinyl pouch I've ever worn. Uh, been through a few of them as I've changed binoculars, but in my opinion, Marsupial Gear makes the best stuff. I bought all the stuff from there, and I'll continue to buy from them. Just gonna keep touring this place around, see what they'll let us get into. How are you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Good, Cade. Jeff. Jeff, nice, nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. Huh, what brought you into town? I'm just gonna go hunt mule there. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. January 1st. <laughs> nice. I've never done it, so. I've been out, but. He's been out. Yeah, I've been out chasing up. I've been seeing some good road activity. Okay. I think, I don't know if the does are ready yet, but the bucks definitely are, so the bucks are cruising. That's moving. good. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, I've never mule deer hunted before. Really? I mean, I've had a mule deer tag in my pocket when I've been to Montana, yeah. but it's never been like the primary yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was yeah. able to. Are you going out with us? I'm going to try. I don't know if our schedule is. Me kind of. Yeah. Are you going out again? I think so. I think I'm gonna go out tomorrow after work, yeah. and then most likely I'll go out Saturday and Sunday. One of all our first pro prototyping stuff. So I don't know okay. if he's got anything hidden. Oh, he does have some. <laughs> yeah, this one is He has some hot stuff. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> he, got the, he, he does all the prototype stuff. Couldn't do it without him. Man. He is the man. <laughs> all the, all the, all the supplies. Hey, back when I worked for Rebellia, it was just me out here sewing. <laughs> I could have used a lot of these, a lot of the help. This is my man, shippers here. Yeah. Bill, you know where Christian got shipped me stuff before? This is Bill. My uncle took me down and took me down. This is his brother, Christian. Christian, nice to meet you, Jeff. Hey. Another brother, not their other brother. Yeah, yeah. 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 Fuck me over there. Um, we'll, we'll just show you. But he doesn't like to be on camera. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Yeah, this is over the holidays. And then, uh, he killed a giant mule deer. November, Christian, or October? November. Seen it? No magnet? Yeah, it just pulls down. It pulls down. It's just kind of hard to do it with your. Put <laughs> nothing in it? Yeah. yeah. But it just pulls down straight ahead. Yeah. That's cool. So that's the new one. Um, comes with multiple colors. Same with the rangefinder, no mag. A lot of people, because of pacemakers, or you sometimes do get people say, you know, you're, you're on X or your Go Hunt apps, maps. The compass on your phone kind of gets messed up. Dude, there's sometimes it's like it's 180 degrees the wrong way, and I don't know what if it, that's okay. So it's me. Because yeah. it's me sitting here holding my arm, my and because they have it's magnets. doing this right here. Yeah. And because they have magnets, it's it pulling north, yeah. dead south. Yeah. Okay. Usually I just like zoom in and I start walking and I see which way I'm going yeah. and I just kind of just. Yeah, yeah, no, just kind of move it away and you should be able to get But a lot of people okay. are moving to the Nomad if, if it's a problem. I've seen it happen to me a couple times. I just know that about it. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm not, not going to work. So that just came out. Obviously, we put all the supplies in there. Yeah. Um, it's kind of for humans and dogs. So they got all the backpacks, the holsters, 
We do have some funny uh, grill. We thought that it was a funny joke, and next thing you know, it's getting people minced up. Dude, I, I see. Like, I was wondering how many of these actually sell. Uh, down there, the new bow cases. Matthews is going to carry some that they're going to sell on their website. Obviously, we have our own. Your rifle, right? You have it over your scope. Yeah, you and carry your rifle it. like this, and you can strap it. Like it started out smaller than like as the years go on, you can just they just start adding stuff, adding stuff, oh, yeah. adding stuff, and now it's like you have this huge warehouse with aisles just full, full of gear and all the different color patterns, camo patterns that you could think of. So it's just yeah, it's, it's a one-stop shop for a lot of your accessories and yeah, yeah. And that's what Jimmy always wanted to make it modular and be able to add things and change things. The yokes, all this bird bag stuff. Here's all the fox skin overflow. Black, the all black are pretty popular. Those are really popular. Yeah, these surprised we still have some. It's field 10, they call it. Yeah. It's not like the coyote brown, but it's the field 10. That's been pretty popular. As you see, we're out of large, we're out of medium. Super popular color. Um, and of course, you know the all black. Real clean, all everything black, right? Except for very much this. So. That is clean. Super clean. We got all the accessories for it. Rangefinder, handgun stuff. Larges are out. Handle more remotes. I use this all the damn time. Could have uh, used those in Ohio. Yeah. They're, they're really, really nice. Really soft. You could put hand warmers in there. You could attach them to the under your bino harness or they come with the strap. I don't. I use my. I use them. I just strap them, kind of like the NFL players. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is what I need when we go to like the beginning of the season when we're in Martinsville and it's 35 Freezy. degrees outside. Put it on the back. Yeah. My fire suit. Yeah. Just stand there with my hands in my pocket. Exactly. Like I'm a quarterback yeah, in the NFL. That'd be cool. That'd be dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's super nice. It's so fuzzy. Yeah, super nice. I, I, that's um, single deer or game set deer set. Meat tarps, you use them, you know. But you could also put your 15s in here, right? So it's a BTX, but your 15s fit really nice in okay. here. Um, so you can carry them that way. Um, You're saying you want to you want to protect that BTX investment. Yeah, and then you have them. We have them full, right? So you put the whole entire thing where you don't have to disconnect the eyepiece to it at all. Padded. So this is the 95, 95, 85 down here. The 115, the big boy. Big boy. Here's the big boy. <laughs> Brady Miller right there. Yeah. A lot, of, a lot of them are carrying this now, you know, the 15, the Well, that's the thing, like, with coming out and doing, like, like desert hunting like this, I've never really done any of it, you know? Mm -hmm. I've been out to the desert a bunch. Yeah, you can see it far away, but, like, trying to spot something, like, you really got to be able to look in at it. Everything I'm doing is, like, whitetail stuff. Usually you're inside of 80, and all the elk stuff, I've really been inside of, like, 300. So, like... Yeah. Your regular spotter, your your tent yeah. will work fine for that. So yeah. like, I'm excited to go out and like do something new, do something like more of the desert style hunting, and just yeah. have to like really look far and really learn how to pick a part of hillside and like look yeah. at animals. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I'm sure that I'll sit there and I'll look real quick and be like, oh, nothing's here. Yeah, and no. then I'll sit and actually look and I'll be like, oh, there's eight deer on this hillside that I never saw. Yeah, so that's what I, you know. You go in first lie, you kind of look at all the top ridge lock, you know top of the ridges see if anything stands out right away skylines right? yeah. skylines or they're feeding and then after a couple of, like an hour you know then you start switching to the north faces you know or the, the shade pockets mm -hmm. um i like using the btx to slow myself down i feel like sometimes when you're on the 15s or a 10s or 12s on a tripod yeah. you're just hauling butt right scanning really quickly but then when i really want to like focus i switch over to the btx and now I'm really just picking apart a section, you know what I mean? I you're looking reading. for like small things. Small things. Tines, yeah, tails, you're looking like... coos deer, yeah, definitely coos deer. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's that little, little movement that, that will catch your eye. There's but, a reason why they blend in. <clears throat> yeah, the like gray ghost for a gray reason. Ghost. So this is, uh, so these SunTech hoodies have a big hood. And so it literally can go this is how I glass, right? All so the way over your hat. It goes all the way over my hat, like okay. this, and it covers. It hides the light from coming yep. inside my big, hat or something. I'm a big uh, SunTech hoodie guy. I got every color. 
They're my new kind of my new base layer now. All the new merch that I think you guys all saw come out recently. So we need a, we have new optics coming. We have those Zeiss SFLs. So we need a new pouch. The one I have right now is a medium. It's too big, so I need to get a small. I'm thinking small in this foliage green color. It's kind of like a gray, and I kind of like it. It's probably the one, it was either this, or like a green like that. Comment, let me know which one you want. I think we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, we need that, and I need a, a bino or a rangefinder pouch to match, to okay. boot. Do I, do I just grab it off the shelf here? Yeah. Okay, I didn't know if I had to go run to the back and grab it. <laughs> and then... Inside there it has the harness, right? Yeah. Yep. It's all in there, and then I'm just uh, the regular size. Yep. Unless you have... What's your rangefinder? Blue pulled. You don't have, like, a Vortex 4000? No, no. It's just the regular, regular. blue pulled, like, yeah. uh, full draw four. Yeah. Yeah, there's that, and you have also the... Little pouches that go on the other side. You got the long I don't run a lot of pouches, man. I like, it's up to you. Yeah, I just like, I'll put my cell phone in the front here. Yep. You know, I'll put my tags or my cell phone in the back here. Yep. But other than that, I like to carry stuff in my pocket. <laughs> For the You're most part. Guy. I'm more of a yep. pocket guy. If yep. I start getting too cluttered in the front here, I just feel like too much. I have too much. I go to throw my backpack on, it's just too much stuff. So, yep. oh yeah my rings for my adapters in there, mm -hmm. all that stuff. It just is, you know, and for me it doesn't get in the way, and if I lay down and shoot, sometimes I'll just take my pack off if I really need to lay down. But yeah. that's how I run my pack 100% of the time, and then if I am in Mexico, which I will be in two weeks, I'll put it down under couch underneath it, just to hold it. I'm not doing a ton of walking in and yeah. out, so carrying like a whole headlamp I don't use, but yeah. having that little clip on yeah. one, it's nice to have, and I'm always yeah. like, Trying to figure out which you can one to put, put a it bunch in. Of stuff so you can put a lot more stuff oh, yeah. in here too. Yeah. Like I could put one of those little pencil headlights. Oh, yeah, that's what I have. Yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to hang that in the house? I thought it was just weird. Uh, that's not allowed in the house. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you have a workshop. That's going to go in the archery shop. Yeah. One day. We're getting there, we're getting closer. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Got a tour of the Marsupial Gear headquarters. Pretty awesome place. They got a lot of stuff in a lot of different colors. We ended up walking out of there with a foliage green small pack for my new Zeiss Binos, rangefinder pouch, and the little utility pouch in the side here. I can put all sorts of trinkets and gadgets in, so it's pretty cool. I still think they make the best stuff on the market. That's why I've been shooting it for a couple years now, and I will continue to shoot it. So thanks for watching this video, guys. Hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next video.